Hi friends, welcome back on our YouTube channel. Today, in classical mechanics, we will discuss about invariance of Poisson bracket under canonical transformation. Now, what is Poisson bracket? We have already discussed about it, and the link of that lecture is given in description box. Now, invariance of Poisson bracket under canonical transformation. So, let's start our current lecture. So, invariance of Poisson bracket under canonical transformation. Let u and v be two functions, then u is a function of qi, pi, and t means coordinate, momentum, and time, and also v is the function of qi, pi, and t. Let a canonical transformation is from a small qi, pi, t to capital qi, capital pi, and t. It means a canonical transformation is from old coordinate, old momentum and time to new coordinate, new momentum and time. And here, old coordinate is a function of new coordinate, new momentum and time. And also, old momentum is the function of new coordinate, new momentum and time. And Corresponding to it, the transformation in u and v are u to u dash and u is the function of this one and u dash is the function of new coordinate, new momentum and time and the transformation in v is from v to v dash and v is the function of this and v dash is the function of new coordinate, new momentum and time. Now, we have to prove that if old coordinate, old momentum and time to new coordinate, new momentum and time is canonical, then the Poisson bracket of u and v with respect to old momentum and old coordinate is equal to the Poisson bracket of u dash and v dash with respect to new coordinate and new momentum. It means the Poisson bracket are invariant under a canonical transformation. So we have to prove this identity. Now proof. Del u by del q is equal to del u dash by del q into del q by del small q plus del u dash upon del capital P del capital P upon del small q and del u by del p is this one. If f1 and f2 are generating functions, then the transformation relations for the variables are. Now, what is generating function? What are f1 and f2? This whole thing we have already discussed in our previous lecture and the link of generating function is given in description box. So, Capital P equals to minus del F1 upon del capital Q. A small p equals to del F1 upon del Q is equal to del F2 by del Q. Also, capital Q equals to del F2 by del P. And the relation between F1 and F2 equal to F2 equal to F1 plus P Q. Since capital P equals to minus del F1 upon del capital Q. Now, del capital P upon del Q is equal to del by del Q of minus del F1 upon del Q. So, we put this P here and we get this relation. And this will be equal to minus del 2 F1 upon del small Q del capital Q. And this is equal to minus del by del capital Q of del F1 upon del small q. Now, del F1 upon del small q is equal to del F2 by del small q equals to small p. 
So this will be replaced with small p. So del capital P upon del small q equals to minus del small p upon del capital Q. So del capital P upon del small q is equal to minus del small p upon del capital Q. Also capital Q equals to del F2 upon del capital P. So del capital Q upon del small q is equal to del by del Q of del F2 upon del capital P. So we replace this capital Q with this one and we get this relation. And this is equal to del to F2 upon del small q del capital P. Or del by del capital P of del F2 upon del small q. And del F2 by del small q is actually a small p. So del F2 by del small q equals to small p. It means del capital Q upon del small q equals to del small p upon del capital P. So del Q upon del small q is equal to del P upon del capital P. Now from here del small q upon del capital P is equal to minus del capital Q upon del P. So we take reciprocal of it and we get this relation. In the same way from here we get del small q upon del capital Q is equal to del capital P upon del small p. Now del capital P upon del small q is this one and del capital Q upon del small q is this one. Since del u upon del small q is this one. Now this del capital Q upon del small q is replaced with this relation and del capital P upon del small q is replaced with this one. So del u upon del q is equal to del u dash upon del capital Q into del p upon del capital P minus del u dash upon del capital P into del small p upon del capital Q. And del small q upon del capital P is this one. Also del small q upon del capital Q is this one. Since del u by del p is this one. Now we replace this del capital Q upon del small p with minus del small q upon del capital P and del capital P upon del small p with del small q upon del capital Q. So del u by del p is equal to minus del u dash upon del q into del q by del capital P plus del u dash upon del capital P into del q by del capital Q. Since the present bracket of u and v with respect to pq is this one and here del u by del q is replaced with this quantity and del u by del p is replaced with this one. So we get this relation or if we take del u dash by del capital Q common from here and here then in bracket we have del small p upon del capital P into del v by del p which is here. Now this negative and this negative will be positive. So this is positive and in bracket del small q upon del capital P into del v by del q which is written here. Now we take del u dash by del p common from here and here. So minus del u dash by del capital P and in bracket del p by del capital Q into del v by del p which is written here plus del q by del capital Q into del v by del q which is written here. Since v dash is the function of capital QI, capital PI and T. Now we want to get the transformation from v dash to v. So this is equal to v and v is the function of a small q, a small p and t. And q is the function of this one and a small p is the function of this one. So v dash equal to this one.
Now, del V dash by del capital Q equals to del V by del Q into del Q by del capital Q plus del V by del P into del P by del capital Q. Similarly, del V dash by del P is this one. Now, the Poisson bracket of U and V with respect to PQ is this one. So, we can replace this bracket with del V dash by del P and this bracket by del V dash by del capital Q. So, the Poisson bracket of U and V with respect to PQ is del U dash by del capital Q, del V dash by del capital P minus del U dash by del capital P into del V dash by del capital Q. And from definition, this is actually the Poisson bracket of U dash and V dash with respect to capital P and capital Q. So, the Poisson bracket of U and V with respect to small p and small q is equal to the Poisson bracket of U dash and V dash with respect to capital P and capital Q. It means the Poisson brackets are invariant under a canonical transformation. So here we end our session. In today's session of classical mechanics, we have discussed about Poisson bracket under canonical transformation is invariant. Goodbye.